Good afternoon, fish heads and TGIF. Jen Crevasse at Jekyll Bates here. It is Friday, Friday, Friday. Today is February 15th, 2019. I am not filming in the morning. Um, we're filming in the afternoon. I'm kind of actually waiting. I haven't, I've done shipping this morning, but I haven't done anything in the way of spraying because I'm waiting to pick up the Yorkie poo from the groomers. I'll show you before and after, I promise. Um, we have a lot of pieces to get through. Uh, you've seen a couple of these pieces in the pre-finished stage. Uh, I want to show you guys some of this stuff in the finished stage. So let's get right into it. We've got a lot to cover. Starting out with this little gem right here. This is um, that 625A that Cedar Run has. And now I... I'm out of gloves. I'm waiting on a shipment. As a matter of fact, the shipment is supposed to come today. Um, just used my last two gloves. And hopefully, I, I ordered some small gloves. So I'll let you know in the next one. But this is that um, crawl pattern with that third segment underneath, that under layer of segment. That cape going around the head. Custom sprayed black eyes and the segmented body underneath. Red Hot Crawl. This, I think, I'm, if these become more available here in the States, and this is a regular deal, then I'm gonna add these and the, um, the mid-depth to the website, hopefully uh, end of February, first part of March. So um, we've, we've tested the snot out of these and they just oh man there's no tuning necessary and when you can get a blank like that shoot pick it up so that's that spent way too much time on that this is the mid-south crawl version just to give you a closer look at this you can see that there is some blue underneath there it is oh, these are just so cool i love this pattern this is a great pattern love that marbling and the three-dimensional tones that you can get with texturing on your baits. A lot of fluorescence in this, but we kind of toned it down with a little bit of brown, some white. This is that classic springtime pre-molt crawl. I'm also gonna be doing a green and blue version, and I've had enough of you ask. Um, Richie Black posted a picture of an Ozark, we call it, we'll just call it a spring peeper. Um, it's indigenous to the river waters around here. It's green and blue. And uh, I think that uh, I'm going to spend some time working on that. And maybe we'll do a, a spray session on that particular one. A little rainbow trout pattern. This is an extra from an order I did uh, just this past week. Trying to get caught up. And just for the record, because I know a lot of you guys um, watch the channel and order stuff off the website. You guys are ordering stuff off of um, my Facebook pages and stuff. So thank you for that. I am just now getting to the end of February. I'm on the last two orders from, or I'm sorry, the last two orders from January. Um, it, it's pre-season, it's busy. I appreciate your patience. Getting there as fast as I can right now. My current run time, my wait time is about 16 to 20 days. So if you guys are looking for new stuff um, before your tournament season starts, now would be the time to get it in because the list is not going to get any shorter. So I appreciate all, each and every one of you guys uh, for checking out the channel and ordering and all that good stuff. I could not do this without all of you. So thank you for that. Um, greatly, greatly appreciate humbling um, for the love and support you guys show the channel and me and, and Jekyll Bates. These, I know you saw this one and the green one. The green ones are already gone. They've been gone. Actually, they were gone and came back, and now they're gone again. Um, that was my packaging error for RJ, so apologies for that. But this is the finished version of this beautiful Dinger holographic party crank. You all know what I'm talking about, especially if you're airbrushers. Um, just a beautiful wide lip square bill. Classic. Very similar to its Japanese friends weighted well great rattle 
So this is that June bug, purple, blue, black, yellow, little orange on the throat. And you guys have, you've seen the blue and red, so we're not gonna overkill that. And I featured this on Facebook not too long ago, a couple of days ago, but we are now rocking and rolling here at Jekyll Bates with the help of Brian over at Dinger. Check these bad boys out. Look at that. So clean up top. There's no glue. There's no sticky yuck. That uh, if, if you guys order and spray the uh, holographic square bill blanks and, and pretty much anything that's come out, um, there's, there's usually tons of primer and junk and you have to sand it down before you can use it. These are super clean. They look really good. Whether it's a simple pattern you're doing or something a little bit more elegant. This is just a simple black back shad with that red throat, but boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I've got these in uh, 1.5s right now. I think Brian's gonna be grabbing them in 2.5s. Please, Brian, please. We'll buy them all day long. So there is that. Um, let's go ahead and show you these before I show you these ploppers, because I've had, I think I've done like eight orders of ploppers. Everybody wants those sunfish patterns. But I really want to show off Chris's stuff here. Um, this is getting ready to go out the door to Canada. We're finishing up tonight. It's come out of clear coat. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so these weigh 4.5 ounces, in case anybody wonders. Um, the eyes, I would normally ask for specific eyes from Jetson, but I don't know if he's back up and running for the 2019 season yet. I love doing the custom eyes. I did find some pretty good alternatives. It just took forever to get here. So Chris, I'm sorry. Um, these are from Brule. And some of it's prime. Some of the sizes are not prime. Uh, you can pick them up on Amazon. If you guys are interested, please leave a comment below and I'll shoot you guys a link for, for the bigger eyes. Um, but they run all the way up to, I want to say 20 millimeter eyes. And that's when you're throwing big stuff like this for musky or if you're throwing saltwater baits, those poppers. But man, oh man, so this is the Stark one he requested. And we were going back and forth as to whether or not he wanted blood splatter on it. I decided to keep this one clean. I just love how this gray, black, and white really works on this bait. Um, but you've got plenty of red and black on this one. And then we've got this uh, Lake Ontario pattern. Now this pattern is available on the website, but if you guys want anything that you cannot find on the website, like special orders like musky baits, um, just shoot me a message. I'm all over the place. I think all of my Facebook and Instagram and Twitter links are listed in uh, each and every video. Um, I kept it with yellow big pupil eyes on this. And he asked for some red blood on the tail, so we certainly gave him that. These hooks, what kind of hooks are we going to be using on this? I am going to be using three Ott treble hooks. They're big ones. Um, matter of fact, let me take you guys over. They're going to be mustads. They're super strong. The ultra points in, is this my three Ott? Yeah. Let's go ahead and pull that off and show you guys what goes on to something. And these are massive hooks, so this is not the kind of hook you want to get stuck in your hand. That's your KVD. And then, I mean, that guy's just a beast. Yeah, but these are big and hooks. But they're meant to be because they're going on big and baits. This is the Imperial White Craw. Little green, brownish tint to those eyes there. And I know I'm probably gonna go way, way over on this video. I usually like to try and keep it between like nine and 11 minutes, but there's just so much. Cause I don't think I've talked to you guys in the shop on updates in a little bit. And then this is the perch. It's got that really pretty blue exterior on the eye and it's got red. Um, he had asked for a dark green to gold fade to white belly. So I turned that into like sort of a cyber perch, I guess, or cyborg. And uh, it's just got that ripped away exterior 
for the perch stripes. I like the way it came out. I hope that you do, Chris, as well. And then I added the, the texturing in the, because um, obviously these are blanks. They don't come with any kind of um, gill on this type of musky bait. And then uh, everything is super glued and super clean. And there you have it. There are the musky baits and they are headed your way. I think he's got some more on order and I can't wait to, to make some new creations for him. Before I get into the ploppers, cause there's a, I think four of them. Um, mo most of the orders I've just been trying to get through so quickly. I haven't even had a chance to show you guys. Um, several of them are already out the door. This is not me. This is the Japanese, it's JDM stuff, the Jackal Riser. It's reimagined. I just talked about it on uh, one of the Facebook groups, the Topwater Underground. If you are not subscribed to Facebook Topwater Underground, go subscribe if you're a Topwater junkie. And I traditionally have not been, um, but after seeing some of the cool stuff that, that transpires and, and some of the stuff that Pete and Gerald and all those guys are making and crafting their own baits from resin and wood, I'm, I'm kind of hooked, you guys, so thanks. Another addiction and rabbit hole to go into. This is the Jackal Riser 009-PSP. It's got the prop on the back end of it, so it, it is kind of a morph between several different kinds of baits. It is traditionally a topwater bait, although they make it in a sinking version, but the prop is for water displacement. It's got that gill-through water flow technology so that the... Uh, the uh, water moves in and through this cup mouth and out the gills. And then it's got almost like a chatterbait type of a lip that's curved upwards. So when you cast this out, it immediately brings that bait back up into the, the, uh, the top water section of your, you know, segment of the water, the column. Um, it, it go, go YouTube. Since you're watching me after you're done watching me, go YouTube this Jackal 009. It's amazing. It's a Jackal riser. And they've got it in multiple colors, but oh boy, just slick. I cannot wait to throw this bait. I'm just juiced about that. Last but certainly not least, I've got a few more. And these are these are the big ones. Actually, I don't think this is the biggest that um, River to Sea makes in the uh, Wobber Plopper. I think they make a 190. But this is like throwing livestock. So this weighs about four and a half, five grams, or I'm sorry, ounces, not grams. That'd be super light. Um, just a traditional bluegill pattern, a little bit of blush on the throat. Got that uh, classic Michael Ornstein, do it like this, Jen. Um, so yes, of course this is a mimic and I will certainly give credit where credit is due. Uh, Michael has been teaching us for years and uh, we all kind of adapt them into our own patterns. And this is how that turned out for mine. And, and these are all, um, these are all free form. So I'm not using a comb or anything. I'm just free airbrushing the stripes for the gill. And I'm doing that against a red violet and a really deep gold. And I'm using the um, black magenta detailing from Wicked, the Wicked color line to do that. The spider web that you see on this, so that's just the Doris mesh that everybody is looking for. I guess everybody's out of stock right now. If I can come across any of it that's in stock, I think Amazon's even out right now. Um, I'll let you guys know, but uh, I've, I've got some on back order. And then we have the pumpkin seed. These are fun. That blush throat almost looks translucent the way the light hits it, but that's the epoxy. Um, the top water, muskies, anything that's gonna just really get destroyed in the water, I always try and do two coats of. The one thing that you have to be careful is to make sure that you do a good job not getting this back piece stuck. Um, so I, I dip this half and I very gently brush this half and I hold it like this when I do it and I hang it from here and put a drip wire in its face. That's how you do it. So I get, I get asked that question frequently. And then just uh, a little different version of this. The smaller version. 
And then I think this is the 110. And this 110 is also, I mean, these are just sharp looking baits. And uh, this, this uh, bluegill or a winter's version of a bluegill, you can see a little bit more of that, that red violet on top. And I did, I even kind of blended a moss green. I did one stripe of moss green up top. And the blending works when you do wet on wet paint and you're not reducing, it kind of gets mushy when you start reducing paint. You just got to really watch your trigger and control. That's the biggest deal with this. Wow, I'm looking at my timer and we're at about 15 and a half minutes. So I'm going to call it right there. If you guys have questions or comments or anything along those lines, please, please, please leave them for me. Um, my schedule, I usually am up about 4.30 in the morning. I try and have some coffee and some breakfast and then I answer all of my emails because you guys leave me messages and emails. So I try and knock that out. And then whenever I finish up in the shop, I spend about an hour um, and try and get all of your questions from the YouTube video comments answered. So as always, I appreciate you guys hanging out, spending a little time on the channel. As always, you guys are the world to me and I appreciate you guys uh, every single day, every video. Keep learning, keep creating. Have a great weekend. If you guys are not watching this on the weekend, my apologies. I hope you've had a great weekend. Happy casting. Pray for it to stop raining. We have a wintry mix in Jonesboro right now, but I'm not a weather girl today. I'm just a bait painter. You guys take care. We'll see ya.